Hello everyone, Mohamed here from Artila and today we're looking at an exciting, a new exciting tutorial which is about the JavaScript and regex rules that we can use to enhance and facilitate our automations and scrapping needs and especially how we can use ChatGPT to make this more easy. So let's look at what we're going to cover. Uh, the first uh, the first point is to go through the definitions, quick definitions, very fast. The second point is to show you how you can benefit from this, how JavaScript and, and regex rules can be used in Artila and what advantages they will give us. And finally, I will give you a demo and an introduction on ChatGPT and to show you how in a practical way and in, in a pretty easy way, we can use ChatGPT to help us find the regex and the JavaScript rules as non-programmers, as beginners. That's the, the concept and the context here. So let's go into the definitions. What is regex? Regex stands for regular expression. What it is essentially, it's a function that isolates a text value based on its pattern, its shape, how it looks like, how it is composed. And what is the benefit of using uh, such a rule? is that it's, it allows you to clean up a block of data. So let's say you scrap a whole block of data, but there is only one part, one specific part that is there that you want. So it will help you to isolate that part by looking at its specific pattern. So this is how it is built. And as you can see, I'm not even trying to understand what is going on here. Uh, it's straight away uh, pain in the head uh, for most of us who are not developers. So we don't we don't have to worry, don't worry, because we, don't not, we do not need to understand this. We do not need to remember this uh, way of building uh, regex. You still can use it as a beginner, as a non-tech user. And here are some examples of how it looks like uh, and what it does. So for example, you can see here the regex to isolate and recognize a phone number. So it will have a, a bunch of, of characters and stuff that says that this is a phone number. This is the regex rule that can find out or, or uh, capture or identify that this is an email address. And then the, the last one is this is how a regex is able to recognize a URL because it starts with HTTPS and so on. So I said, don't worry, because most of the most used regex rule rules, we have already pre um, pre populated them. So when you go into filters, you will find a bunch of regex that are actually already in there. So let's say you capture a whole block and you say, I just want the URL. You, you just go into the drop down of the filter in default custom here and choose that you only want the, the URL. Let's say now you just want to catch the IP address in that whole block of text. Then you would select the IP v4 address. Or if you want to catch the email address that is in that paragraph, then you select the email address and it will isolate that email address for you. It's that simple. But uh, sometimes you want something and, and we don't have a ready made rule for it. Um, so we will cover that later. As for JavaScript, I will not even try to defin define it. Uh, it's even more headache. It's a, it's a programming language, let's say, that allows you to do a lot of things, but we do not need to understand it because this video has a very specific context. So here we are really covering a very simplified and a very specific use case uh, of JavaScript and regex. So what we are looking at today is how to use regex to isolate a group of target value inside a string or inside a paragraph. And then how we are going to use JavaScript is that we are looking at a JavaScript function or rule that will just help us to delete the unwanted parts. So first with regex, we isolate, we, we take it out from the, from the paragraph. And sometimes when we take out the value that we want, there is, there is a prefix or a suffix that we also want to get rid of. And that's where we use JavaScript to remove something that is in front of it or behind it or some characters that we don't want like HTML. You can do much more, of course, with regex and JavaScript. It's very powerful because you can apply rules on every specific uh, property that you are scrapping or, or using on Artila. You can apply your own custom rules. So for those who are developers, they can really have a lot of fun. They can do a lot of complex and very powerful things. But for us today, for beginners, we're going to see what we can do uh, with what we can understand. So let's see the benefits of, uh, of this. So if we take this example and we're sharing the URL here, uh, so 
I am interested in uh, getting the information about the French castles. And the Wikipedia page about the French castles, they are not consistent. Meaning that the information that you see here that is highlighted in yellow, sometimes you have the period and the style, sometimes you don't have it. Sometimes the architect is shown first, sometimes the architect is not shown at all or is shown last. So there is no stable locators for the kind of information that I want to catch. So in that case, regex plays uh, a, does a good job because wherever it is in that in that block, whether it appears at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom, it will always find it find it because it's not using the selector criteria that we did in the in the former videos. Uh, that is re, that is like a path to find the information. It doesn't it doesn't really care about the path. It's looking for one pattern. So wherever that thing is appearing, it will go and find it and then get us that data. That's what the regex rule will do. So for example, here I'm interested in catching the, the, the year when this castle was finished. And actually for all the castles, I want to know the year that, that the construction was finished. So what, what is stable in this block of text is always that they use fin, fin construction, the end of construction. So I know that every time there is fin construction, there will be a four digits and, and that's together is the pattern that I'm interested in. So here you can see that this is the regex rule that I got and I will show you how I got it without being a programmer. It basically says that if there is fin constru construction uh, and then there is a space and then there are four digits after it, catch the whole thing. That's what is this regex is saying. Catch me the whole thing and, and keep it for me. So you see the way I use it is that when I'm in the property, I go to filters and in regular expression here, I just will I will just copy this and paste it there. And what it will do is that it will catch the whole fin construction 1879. It will catch me this whole block. That's the result I will get. As you can see, it's not bad because I got rid of all the other elements that I don't want in this particular property. But then I still have fin construction construction, which I don't want. I, I would like to have just the year to have clean data. So that's when the JavaScript kicks in. And we have a particular way of, of updating the value of the property with Artila. And you just need to remember this, is that the value of each property that is being scrapped is called field underscore value in, in uh, capitalized letters. So what, what this function is saying here is that it's saying whatever value you have grabbed from this block, yeah, uh, that's the current field value. So the new field value, so we start like this, the new field value equal the current field value, which is the block of text that is inside this. And already there is the regex rule that has isolated fin construction and then the, and then the year. And then inside, after, after the regex has applied, I want to remove fin construction. So you see here, that's what it says. It says replace fin construction with nothing. And that's and that I put it here. So now I have my first regex rules that isolated it. I got this result. Then when I apply the Ajax rule that I don't understand, but I know that I can replace my text here. Then it, it's the result is 1879 and you can see it here. Now I have a clean just four digits years and the four digits is enough because it can be even the 17th century or the 15th century or if it's 2022, it still works. It's four digits. So now I have my clean data. And I didn't have to go and dive into the specific CSS and the specific XPath, which in this case anyway would not would have not worked because it's not structured data. So this is how we can use it. This is how you input it into Artila to basically just uh, grab a larger piece, a larger chunk of data and then clean it up and then selectively uh, capture what, what you need only. This is really like the essence of it. And as you can see, once you can remember this, uh, this approach, uh, you will be able to do a lot. Uh, now let's look at, uh, so you see that's the result that I was mentioning. Now I get my result, a clean four digits here. Now uh, let's do a, a demo. So uh, I'm gonna go into um, the V6, the Artila V6, and then I'm gonna enter these two, uh, these two elements, the regex rule and the JavaScript rule, and show you how it's actually working live. Okay, we're on the V6 of Artila. I'm on the castle page of the Chateau d'Abadia. 
that's uh, the castle I use as as uh, as a benchmark for all the others. So when I come here and and I create, so I create a first selector. For example, I could just I just want the castle name, and then this I'm using the normal selector. But now I want to work on the end of construction, which is this this field here. But I'm going to show you if I use the normal selector, it's going to select a lot of things. You see, because this is a very classic selector. Even if I select this one. It's also finding too many results, 729. So you can see that this page is really a mess. It's very hard to, to, to really locate this from, from the selector. So I'm not going to use this technique. I'm going to grab the whole block. So you see here I'm highlighting. I want this whole block. I click it. That's the block I want. And there is uh, a lot of text inside. There is a lot of elements. Actually, there is eight elements. But it's OK because I'm going to use my rules to clean it up. So let me first remove this and show you uh, how it applies. And I'm going to remove all the rules. So when I remove all the rules, because I catch the block, it catches everything that's in, that is in the block. Chateau d'Abadia, which is on the top here, non-local, which is here, and then the period, the architect, it catches everything, the whole block. But this is too much information for me. Yeah? So now I would like to put back my uh, regular expression. And I have saved it in the text here. Uh, I didn't save it in this text, <laughs> but I think I can do Control Z and it comes back. So you see here, when I put back my first regex rule, it is getting rid. So this is without the regex rule. I have too much content. I put the regex rule, boom. I, now I have much less content. Not yet what I want, but I got rid of 90% of what I don't want. So I have fin construction 1879. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to add our uh, JavaScript rule, which uh, this time I have saved here. And you can see that as soon as I'm going to paste it here, it's going to get rid of the fin construction. Up, oh, you see, here it's gone. So I'll do it again. I had fin construction 1879. I applied the JavaScript rule. Oop, it cleaned my data. So now I have a clean data. I can save it. And I know that always I will cache the year. And then I can create a new uh, property to get the beginning of the construction, another property to get the architect, another one to get the website. If there is a website, another one to get the GPS coordinate. I can create, I can scrap the whole block again and then just focus on every piece that I want using regex and JavaScript rule. So once you do it once, twice, and basically you just copy and paste this we will share with you this, these codes. And you just replace here what you want or what is appearing on your website in your block of text that you want to, to delete. Uh, so it's very simple. You just use this as a template and, and redo it. I'm going to save it and go back to the presentation. OK, so we have seen the demo of this. Let's now move to the next point, which is how I came to find this uh, regex rule in the first place, because I'm not a developer and it breaks my head <clears throat> to try to understand the regular expression and how it works. So it's very simple. I find out that chat, uh, chat GPT is actually doing a pretty good job at finding regex rules. So the first thing you have to do is to open an account. It's free. You open the account and then you log in into chat GPT. So the URL is there. It's chat.openai.com. Once you do that, you're going you're gonna to reach a, a window like this here on the bottom left. And then you have a paragraph input space here where you can basically type in, in English what you want to do. And, and you can be pretty explicit. So the, the prompt is what we what uh, the prompt is like the formula you use to ask the, the AI model to do something. So the prompt that works well, uh, after I did a couple of trials, is that you have to specify that this is a JavaScript reg regex because Artila is based on JavaScript as a language. So I just, I'm just i just telling to the chat GPT, uh, I want the JavaScript regex rule to isolate the four digits here that appears after fin construction in the string below, and then I paste the string. So you could paste here some paragraph. Don't paste too much because ChatGPT has a minimum, a maximum number of characters and words that you can deal with. So you can put maybe 100, character, 100 words, maybe 50 words. But usually in that area where you are scrapping, there is usually like 20 words 
and 18 of them you want to get rid of them so that's what you do you can just pick it i mean just write it like that and then put the string below and then once you do that you just hit that little uh, arrow that little play button and that will run the model based on this prompt and then it will give you a new window and it will tell you that to find the years the four digit year that appears after dinner -na -na, this is your regex and it actually did the job it's it's really the regex that i need and what you have to uh, to, to, to do is just basically copy it and paste it into Artila. But there is a but. Sometimes ChatGPT will put anti-slash in front and anti-slash at the end or, or some other programming uh, characters. So just know that you have to remove that slash or anti-slash that appears at the beginning or the end if, Ch if ChatGPT gives it to you. Uh, it should start in this format. Yeah, once you know, once you know that, you just copy this and then you go like I did in back into Artila, into the property, into the filters, into the JavaScript action, and uh, sorry, into the, the custom regex field, and then you just paste it there. Very simple, yeah? So let me show you how it actually works uh, right straight inside uh, ChatGPT. And I just write here, yeah, JavaScript regex rule to isolate the four digits here that appears after fan construction in the string below. I give him a sample of the string and now I'm going to hit this play button. It's doing its little thing. So just like I did before, it's explaining that this is what you need to do. And you can see that it's in this example, you see it added uh, a small sign there. There is, there is, uh, these characters at the beginning and at the end, the crochet, we don't want them. So that's what I was trying to explain. You have to remove whatever front and back character that ChatGPT sometimes uh, takes. So if I now copy just the regex rule itself without its expression or its, <clears throat> its brackets, and then I go back to Artila and I'm going to replace this one. And it's actually the same. So if I remove the JavaScript rule, this function, this regex rule, is doing the job. It's catching fan, fan construction in the whole paragraph. So that's how I did with the chat GPT. Very easy. It even gives you a whole JavaScript rule that we can do on, a, on the next se another session. Uh, you could actually do this just with JavaScript. But it's a bit more complicated. It's easier to just use uh, the regex rule and then, and then uh, do your what you need to do. And that's about it. Uh, I hope it's useful. I hope that it's not too complicated. We will share with you this template. We will share with you also the documentation with the, with the JavaScript uh, sentence that you need to keep. And then you can just experiment. You can uh, experiment on, on your own website that will have uh, different wordings, different paragraphs, and you want to remove something else. But the principle is always the same. You want to isolate uh, something that is very near your, your target element. And once you have that group of words, and you got rid of the 80% that you don't want, then you apply the JavaScript rule to only locate that very specific data that you want to keep and save. That's about it. And uh, we are looking forward for the next tutorial. Thank you, guys.